Hey, I'm Maggie. I've been hearing about potential blood shortages in the future due to COVID-19, and I've been wanting to donate, but I'm also worried about my health and safety. I have a relationship with City of Hope, so I'm gonna head there and see what they're doing to keep blood donors safe. Let's mask up and go find out. The first thing I did was go online to schedule an appointment. I went to idonateblood4hope.org, that's the number four. I chose my location and it gave me a list of times to choose from and it prompted me to create a simple profile. One good thing about giving blood during COVID-19 is there is way less traffic. I gotta admit to you, I'm a first time donor, so I'm a little nervous, but seeing the people on the news on the front lines combating this virus, I figured the least I could do is give blood, and it's something I've thought about doing for a long time now, so here it goes. Hi, you must be hey. Maggie. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Casey Arena, I'm the manager of blood donor recruitment for City of Hope. Really appreciate you doing this. The X's really help us keep that six feet apart, so stay on those X's while we go through the process. We're excited to have you. Thanks. Okay. Hey Maggie, at table one, they're gonna go ahead and check you in to donate blood. Great. Hello, how are you Hi. feeling today? Great, thanks. Good, you don't have any fever, cough, shortness of breath? No. No? Have you been exposed to anybody who says it positive for the coronavirus? No. What about anybody that's suspected of having it? No. Okay, have you been tested yourself? I have not. Okay, is it okay if I take your temperature? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm going to give you a donor van here. So there's a second check even before we can get into the building. So it's two lines of defense. As you can see, our lobby room looks a lot different than it normally does, and what we're doing here is really keeping that six feet distance from everyone, so we have our chairs spaced out and measured. Three lines of defense. I'm going to give you a couple things, a sanitized pen and a new form. I need you to go ahead and fill this out for me. I'm going to go into my medical screening now where they're going to ask me a series of questions. They're going to check my iron levels and they're going to take my temperature again. So we can't film in here, so I'll see you at the chair. So Dr. Z, I've had, I told a lot of people that I'm coming to do this today, and almost everyone asked me, are they gonna test you before you give blood? How do they know that you don't have the, uh, the virus because so many people are asymptomatic who have it? Right, so right now we're not testing blood donors for COVID because the FDA has not had evidence that coronaviruses or any respiratory viruses are transmissible through transfusion. So we don't have to worry about patients getting COVID even if there is an asymptomatic donor who happens to have COVID. I did it! You did it! Look at all that blood! Cold pressure right there. Okay. Do you want to get a shot holding it? There's a lot of blood down there. It's going to a good home. Well, that, that was easy. What I learned today is that blood is needed every day and that each of us can be saving lives in our own community. The safety measures at City of Hope are clearly in place to keep us all safe. So if we each give a little, we can make a big difference.